We'll get off to a good start this year by stopping some common practices that may not be so good for your financial health. Financial advisor Mark Lampkin is here to talk us through the five money habits that you need to break. You need to break them now because this is January. This is January. Start from, fresh start, fresh new start. start. We're getting it on. Let's getting, go. Getting it on. I mean, <laughs> first up, okay, I know a lot of people are very guilty of this, especially if there's like things going on in the market, constantly checking your portfolio, that's right? Like, Obsessing over it. Don't do that. That's like my pet Don't peeve. do that. Like, Does that drive you, you nuts? Yeah, people oh my pick gosh. Up the phone people and call say, every Mark, single Mark, day. Mark, yes. Mark, check this out. Yeah, here's the thing I'll tell you that the fear of loss is five times yeah. greater than the, the fear or the happiness of gain. Yeah. So when you see that loss, here's my stat, 35 of the last 42 years, the market has dropped seven to 10% every single year, but 35 of those years, the markets had positive gains. So the sun comes up, the sun goes down, that market's gonna drop. You gotta have that three year time horizon. Yeah. And if you're not having your money in the market for three years, get out. But checking that every day and every move, should we get in, should we get out? The worst possible thing you can do. Number two, downplaying the risk of cybercrime. Three billion, mm -hmm. three billion dollars in 2021 is the That's latest crazy. I could find. People over the age of 50 got caught in cyber crimes. And so the best place to go is Daniel Cameron does a great job as our attorney general. If you go to the Kentucky Eternal, Attorney General site, because mm -hmm. that's where the complaints go, right? So he yes. knows the latest. Go to them, they'll tell you the latest cyber crimes. And let me give you a quick thing. I did this. I preach against this. So I listed my son's car for sale in Marketplace. I wasn't mm -hmm. even thinking. Some guy sends me a message and says, hey, Mark, I'm going to send you, send you a Google code just because I've been taking advantage of on Facebook and just let me know you got it. Yeah. Well, I sent him the code back. And then all of a sudden I'm like, what are you what doing? What are you doing, Mark? I Googled it as a scam. Yeah. So I had to go in and change my password. I fell for it. Mark, so, there's so many scams out there. It's just really hard to keep track of all of them. I mean, really, it's like I get a text. My immediate reaction is don't respond back or delete it, right? Just here, delete it I was talking to a retired police officer on the way down here, one of mm -hmm. my best friends. And I said, like, what's, how do we combat this it's stuff? Terrible. I fell for this. Rule of thumb, if you didn't ask for it, you don't respond to it. Yeah. And even if you did, you Google, or even if you did and you get a phishing thing, you can call that company direct to make sure yeah. they sent it before you send your information. $3 billion is a hell of it's a lot crazy. of money for fi the age of uh, over 50. Number three is making minimum payments on your credit card. Like you are wasting money if you're just doing that, right? It's, gonna, it's only going to take you 50 years the rest <laughs> right. of your life to pay it get off, it over right? It. So yeah. Always, like how much more should you pay on that above the minimum? What is there like a like a, a yes. threshold that yeah. you should hit each time? And you've heard me speak of that Dave Ramsey snowball yeah. method before. And for folks that don't know what that is, is Take your highest rate card. I, I, I got yes. a little bit of a twist on it. Put a highest, let's say you have three credit cards. One's at 19, 15, and 12%. Let's pay the minimum payments on those 12 and 15%, and every extra dollar you can, get that 19% mm -hmm. paid off. I don't care if it's only $500 and these have bigger balances. Yeah. Get it paid off because it gives you a sense of pride that I paid this off, I've got yeah. the highest card, and then go to the next one, and then the next one. But I've said this before. Compet Credit cards are super competitive right now because rates have went up. If you can transfer all three to zero balances, you do keep it. transferring them and hitting those payments until yeah. they're gone. And okay. right now is a great time to do it because as these rates popped up, there's more zero interest offers than ever before. Uh, number four is procrastinating on your taxes. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody does this, right? <laughs> extending the deadline. <laughs> extending extension, the deadline. extension, extension, yeah. which is fine. But here's my thing. Let's face it. January 1st to April 15th, do you really think that your tax person who has to get out over a thousand tax Crazy. returns is going to help you plan? No. It's tax yep. reporting season, not tax planning season. Yeah. They want to get you in and out. So wait till May when your accountant's got fresh minds, fresh eyes. Take the last two years of your tax returns, print off the SECURE Act 2, the new tax code's coming up for next year. Yeah. It's sit down with a different accountant. If you love yours, sit down with yours, but there's nothing wrong with a fresh set of eyes. Yeah. And then say, look, the rest of this year, what can I do to cut my tax bill? You're not gonna get that type of planning January 1st no. to April 15th. No. So that's tax reporting versus tax planning. And tax planning, I've never seen one single person that went through a tax planning session that couldn't save at least 100, 200, 2,000. And just think about that. If we can save you two grand in taxes, grand in taxes, that goes straight to the credit cards to pay that off, yeah. right? Put it towards something that's really gonna matter. Never seen anybody not uh, save number money. Number five is putting expenses on autopilot. What do you mean? So I did this about four years ago. I was on with State Farm 
And State Farm's a great company, but I was with State Farm. <laughs> you, you're going to yell yeah, at me, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to yell at me. Save it for after the show. I know. <laughs> S since I was 16, was here we go again. Great. <laughs> so I didn't say Super Bowl. I <laughs> 16 to 50 or 49. And literally, um, I decided to shop with yeah. a good friend of mine, right? And he was an independent agent that has 16 different companies. And over, two years ago, I, I was with a company. Two, last two years, I've been with a different company. <coughs> so don't get used and just get in that rut and not check. Car insurance, life insurance, commercial insurance, all the insurance, health insurance. Yep. Shop that insurance because if you think that company's loyal to you, You've got another thing coming. They're about numbers and about shareholder value. Make sure you shop those every two years, and I promise you, I cut my bill five grand and got double the coverage. That's great. Double yeah. the coverage. And they change everything every year. You got to stay on top of yeah, it, right? If, they, if they, they may inch something up twenty five, fifty dollars, and then no, five years later, you're right. it's like it's like little, 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 and you got to you got to get in on it early. Here's gotcha. what people don't understand. Last thing, it's not on autopilot. They don't. They're not on autopilot. If, if that <laughs> company got hit hard in the reserves because yes. the Midwest had a hailstorm. Yep or Florida had a hurricane, Gotta make that company's rates are going up. Well, yep. maybe this company's in the Midwest and they didn't have any of that. Yeah. So they don't have to raise their reserves or raise those rates. Shop those rates. Yeah. You will save money. All right, Mark, thank you so much. Thanks. Lost five advertisers while we've been here. <laughs> Great. Talk to you later. That's why I love oh you. Oh my God. So if you are interested in getting more information or scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, just head on over to lampkinwealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764.